can we emulate the sun spectrum? And, uh, you know, all these grow light companies try it. That's what they're aiming for is that same spectrum. Um, and I don't think we've gotten there just yet on the indoor side of things. So that's a good thing for outdoors is you've got that sun, which is free energy. I mentioned that earlier, but the spectrum as well. Uh, and I know there's still a lot of studies being done on spectrum, the different uh, types of light and how they impact plant growth, so on and so forth. But yeah, that's probably one thing that, you know, one thing that you can't really beat uh, when it comes to outdoors is, is the lighting spectrum. So, uh, Dude, And then one other thing I wanted to mention was, was the stresses. So we kind of talked about outdoor stresses, the different stresses that can happen. Um, precision stress is a good thing. You know, some scientists say that stressing your plant in various ways can be good. It helps that plant express itself. It helps that plant create uh, terpenes. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, the uh, trichomes, terpenes, defense mechanism. Yeah. Um, you know, to to uh, deter pests uh, and so on and so forth. So um, that's another thing that that's a good thing when when growing outdoors is having those different stresses with environment stuff because environment can go up and down. You know, temperature, humidity, all that stuff, and that can bring out some of the the profile there. So, well, and then you think about even the, the different profile that you're going to get from an outdoor cultivar, outdoor grow within a certain cultivar. Certain ones, I feel like, still get that the dank you're looking for, but some, I feel like, it's a little different. It's a deeper, muskier funk, and I feel like that's based on the stress that it gets. So, if you can minimize the stress that you have, you're probably going to get those really good results. If you get the right amount of stress, you can maximize the results you're looking for probably get more than what you would inside in terms of trichome production in other areas. Unless again, you're utilizing different techniques of, of training and even um, like UV added towards latent flower. So it's just, there's variables that come into it. I think you, if outdoor, like a Kelly Mark over here on Twitch is saying outdoor is easier than a tent. I, I yes and no. And Michigan is not necessarily going to be Kelly Mark. Yeah, probably. But Michigan Rob, probably not. It's a little different, you know, in terms of their, our environment here in Michigan, it's a little different. So we don't have that consistent solid sun. The temperature fluctuates dramatically and our seasons seem to get shorter and shorter and shorter. So it, it dials down to then cultivar. So it's like, if you've got a good cultivar that can run in that region, then maybe, yeah, you can get some dank like you would inside. But if you're trying to push, you know, 12, 14 weeker outside and you only got like six weeks of good solid quality sun it's probably not going to get those good results you're going to see more stress than necessary and it's not going to be worth it you take that same cultivar inside and don't emulate those exact conditions but emulate maybe cali weather you'll probably get the dankest of the dank you can out of that it just depends on again the region you're trying to emulate and what you're emulating from nature not every portion of it but little pieces again that light if we can get the better spectrum solid right there even some of the stresses that you get solid but vpd is something like chris was mentioning before you can't dial in that VPD perfect like you can inside. That's where emulation is like, well, we're, we're getting that and then leveling up because science is showing us ways to optimize it for this particular plant. So you find good pieces, you take those pieces, you implement it, but complete emulation, I feel like is just a no-go in my opinion. No, and I think that goes, that, that's not what the point is. We're not trying to emulate. We, for so many years or up until what, the 70s, 80s, I don't know, 60s, 70s, 50s, we only had natural wheat you know what i mean there was no home grows there was no these massive areas of cultivation it was grown outdoors and it was outdoors only and that's what we had then throughout you know trial and tribulation you learn how to you know master your craft and as you learn to master your craft you learn how to use the best tools the best practices using the least amount of money, right? And that, that goes for anything. I think that goes for like, you know, woodworking, you know, as a carpenter, you know, you can use a hammer and nail or a, a hacksaw, or a, you know, a hacksaw or whatever, you know, or you can use the latest saw with the latest lasers and the latest thing to get the job done. You know, you, you can emulate a guy working with a, with a chisel and a, and a hammer on stone, or you can use a big quickie saw and you know what I mean? But you could probably get the job done similar, but one would be faster and far more efficient. And I think that's the same thing with cannabis is that we have naturally over time harnessed our craft. We've figured out what it takes to grow the greatest product. We're still on that adventure, right? But we're start, we're figuring it out. It takes a little bit of the best things of nature. You need light, you need food, you need water. You know, you get those from nature, you emulate it, but then you perfect it. You add your, you add your, you know, um, your, your additives and, and what so on, so on and so forth. And you make sure that you're giving it the steroids and the best spectrum and the highest intensities and so on and so forth. Then you get to where we are today, where we're now getting a product that is, 
a thousand times far more effective and efficient than it was when we started. This FDS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity, leaders in garden innovation. Use discount code THESTASH15 at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.